Okay, for this part of the video, we are going to demonstrate what this lesson will look like. Before we actually get started, I recommend some organizational pieces for you guys so that you can ensure some success. I would first, as a parent, watch this video straight through so that I would know what letters we will be focusing on for this particular lesson and the order of the words that student will be creating. I would be writing a list for that. So in this particular case, you should go ahead and cut out your letters. You will need for this particular letter, um, for this particular lesson, you will need the letters S, A, T, M, and the letter P. And then you need to have them organized in this particular way before the lesson actually starts. So you want to make sure that everything you need is already in place before you have the child seated. The other thing I would recommend too is going through and writing down the words the student will be creating so that you'll know what word comes next and, and everything will just kind of flow a little bit better for you. After you have all of these pieces in place, you can actually start the lesson, okay? So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your child has an understanding of the letter sound relationships so he understands what sound each of the letters presented makes. So this is what I usually do to reinforce that. I'll say, hey, Mason, what sound does the letter S make? What sound does A make? What sound does T make? What sound does M make? What sound does P make? Now, if your child knows all of those sounds, then they're ready to do this particular activity. If they are not familiar with the sound that each of the letters make, then you might want to pause this video and take an opportunity to reinforce those particular skills because they'll need that background knowledge in order to do this particular activity. Okay? The next thing you want to do is your first word is the sat. Sat is created by the parent. So you want to go ahead and create the first word and you model for the child. So Mason, s, a, a. What is this word, Mason? Sat. Sat. Can you switch the word from sat to mat? Mat. Mat. At. Right. What is the word? Mat. Now, can you switch the word from mat to map? Map. Map. Can you switch the... Map. Map, where's this letter go? Put map. it back up at the top. Map. So let me hear the sounds. M map. Map. Now, can you switch? What is that word? What is that word, Mason? What is that word? Map. Map. Can you switch this word to sap? child sap now can you switch this word from sap to tap T -t tap tap good job good job and so again these are just short pieces that you can do with your child to reinforce particular skills okay now what i recommend is doing short phonemic awareness assessments or, or activities like this one and then follow that up with your adult sight words. So automaticity is another skill that is important for proficient, proficient readers to have. So going through your packet that you receive, the first word, I will have them go through the sight words packet and do a couple of those each day. And then follow that up with some reading, particularly something at their age level or the parent reading to the child. So you want to do it in that particular order. So you want to do your phonemic awareness lesson first which is this short activity. As you can see, it's short. It, you can tie in a, a bunch of skills at one time. So not only are they identifying letters, they're identifying the sounds that the letter makes, and then they're using that knowledge to create words. So, and that shouldn't take more than 30 minutes because we're in a difficult time now. So we don't want to bombard them with a lot of different challenging tasks. So just kind of keep that short in that way and then follow it up with your dose sight words and then some reading material. Okay, but again, I'll be doing more lessons and introducing more letter sounds and more words and and we'll just keep growing from here. So I hope this was helpful. Um, leave me a comment if you have any suggestions or concerns and I'll see you soon.